Hey, John Tech. Um, I, nice video. I, I really appreciate you, your opinions uh, in this. Although they are, a lot of them are pretty different than what I, than my perception of things right now. I'm sure we both want the same thing, which is ultimately an end to the fighting. I'm sure. I mean, I think that's what everybody wants. And I don't want you to think that, uh, that I think that it's the U.S.'s fault. It's not, I don't think it's the U.S.'s, I don't think it's the U.S.'s fault at all. I, I mean, it's nobody's fault, you know? War is nobody's fault. War happens because we're afraid of each other. So we fight each other. And I, personally, I think that we're afraid of each other because we don't understand each other. Because it's like, you know, two wild animals kind of colliding. They can't speak, they can't talk it through, so they fight. Uh, God, you said a lot. One thing that you said that stood out to me um, is how you said that uh, every time of peace in the world has come from a time of war. Oh, actually, for, I guess first I should say, it's actually Cross Mac, the name, not Cross Ack. But my name's Ian, so you just call me Ian, dude. Um, you said that every, every time of peace has, has come because from a time of war, or it was something like that. But I mean, I gotta ask you, when, when do you think this world was ever at peace? Because as far back as I know, this place, it, it, it has been war. It has been conflict, nonstop, all the way back to tribal warfare and, and before that. And I, these beliefs that I have about communicating and how it can overcome conflict, it's not based on something that happened in the past. I, you know, I, I, you see it happen. You see Gandhi overcome conflict by, by not fighting, he, refusing to fight regardless. He, he refused to go to war. And because of that, his nation, India, is one of the most powerful nations in the world right now. Is because they understand that communicating and making friends and allies, by, not allies, friends, is more important than, than conquering another nation or killing someone. Always, always, always it's more important to make friends, always. Um, these feelings that I have are based on my own personal life and the conflict that I've overcome in this relationship that I'm in, seeing that if you, if you confront openly and genuinely any conflict and you're willing to to let go of the anger you can overcome it and you grow and you can and you can live on and you can do anything you want to do in life but you have to be willing to overcome the conflict you have to be willing to listen and to talk and it's the same thing on a global scale it doesn't change when all of a sudden it's two different nations this mentality you got to get rid of this mentality of us versus them there is no us and there is no them where, where the human race is is us we're all living together i mean they speak the the uh you know the the arab nation speaks a different language and they have a different religion because they grew separately than us you know we all we all learned our basic truths at, at different places at different times it doesn't change the fact that we're all the same we are all the same we're, we're only killing each other because we're afraid of each other the mentality that you have of, yes, we have to get it, go in there and take out the guys that are coming to kill us, is the same mentality that every country and every leader, almost, you know, the majority of, uh, of the leaders of this world have had for the, you know, since the beginning of humanity. And it's a very popular view because it, we're comfortable with it. You know, I think we're addicted to it. I think we're addicted to conflict. When it's not around, we seek it out. It's like what human it's like human nature. But fuck that shit, dude. We're killing each other and the planet's falling apart. We have to we have to look beyond this idea of terrorism. You know, the the word terrorism, like, it is it's subjective. I called it objective in another one of my videos and immediately I was pissed off that it's subjective because they think we're terrorists. And we think they're terrorists. And there is no we and them, there is no terrorist. It's you know, there's all this conflict all this conflict it's awful we need to focus on what's really important which is taking care of this fucking planet because in 150 years it's going to be 110 degrees every day the oceans the, the the united states is going to be as far west as montana and as far east as uh michigan because the oceans are going to have come up over the coasts and this is the truth this is really going to happen hey i'm editing this because uh i write 
as I'm speaking in the original video I said I was talking about global warming and I said that the ocean levels would rise up to Montana and Michigan and I said that it was true and I can't believe that I did I'm disgusted with myself that I said that because it's not I have no idea if that's true like what's you know this is this is this is what I'm learning by doing this is that I, I am totally flawed but I'm willing to talk about it and I'm willing to be open about it because if you're not you know you never get past that you never grow um, so take this as my apology for saying something that's not true I'm sorry to interrupt the the video uh, to drone tech to respond so I'll get back to him now but I think the only way to get past it is to talk about it and 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 debate about it and to talk about it and I want to hear what you have to think about all this stuff definitely and uh, let me know your name if you want because it is it's all about the interpersonal communication dude you sound like an incredibly fucking smart guy I, I wish that you lived near me I mean I guess you don't have to because we get YouTube alright see you